Murphy and Chris Singleton with you. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us. And partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you've got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. Hello from Arlington, Texas. We're live inside Globe Life Field, an AOS matchup on the show. It's the Oakland Athletics and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab in this one, Nathan Evaldi. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with the runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. First pitch, 707. Left hand hitter waits. And down on strikes he goes. One away. First strikeout for him in this one. And that splitter is maybe the go to pitch when he's looking for a swing and miss like that. He throws it quite a bit. And that's a good example of the effect it can have on a hitter. Stepping in the long ball threat, Brent Rooker. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And he'll make it safely. That's a double. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there. So once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. One down. J.J. Bladé up next for the A's. And that is in for a strike. 0-1. One, one. No one, one. Ball. This one kicks away a little one as he one. can't squeeze it. To one third. Yard. Got it. Got it. Two outs, bases empty. Pitch misses there. Two balls and a strike. Two down, nobody on. Still two and two after the foul ball. And the pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Right through there. Got it. And it's a three up, three down inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Now the Rangers will get their first crack. We're scoreless. Globe Life Field and today on the hill number 40 and Chris pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him yeah and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road sometimes you know it's just a matter of luck it's not having a feel difference between the bullpen mound to the mound go. out there yeah. on the playing field the don't know what it is but I know this he's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home so we'll see what he's able to do in this one and there's a foul ball Simeon in his 10th season hitting leadoff in today's game and he was a sixth round draft pick one and back one. in 2011 The wide to kick the pitch. That's the ball. Outside. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. 
Check. Swing, but he went too far. That is strike two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So now it's Corey Seager. Lobber to right field with and gone. Corey Seager leaves the yard. Home run number 30 on the year. It's 1-0. They wasted no time in that at bat. Swinging at the first pitch and he punished it. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Bases empty, one away. Robbie Grossman stepping in for the Rangers. Outside. Oh. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. One out, base is empty. That yeah. one finds the zone. And a count one, one and one. one. That clips the corner. Back to him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Just oh. off the inside corner. And the count is two and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. Couldn't catch up to the heat. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Two outs. Foul ball. And here it comes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Rangers strike first on the solo job. It's an early one nothing lead. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. Ivaldi back to work. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's a little wrong. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And a pitch. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away in the blade. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. So here's Brown at the plate. That one pulled foul. One down, base is empty. That That's misses the, the zone, and the count is one and one. Our one umpire one. behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good thing. That one blasted deep to right, way back there. Gone! 
He nails one out to right. And it ties it up. It's 1-1. This game is breathing new life thanks to that home run. And that's exactly what they needed. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Here's the left fielder. Lined into right. He makes the catch, and there's two down. That is, that is the second base. That two outs, base is empty. Yellow. Zach Geloff. Up next for the A's. Right through there for a strike. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. That one's in there. That's strike two. Scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. All even now at 1-1. One, one. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Josh Young. The designated hitter. Young. Young. The pitch. That Good. one finds the zone. That's strike one. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Caught him looking for the K. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expanded a little bit with two strikes. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Close, but call the ball. And that is ball one. A swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. That one That's misses, and it's two and one. Tied two up one. here in the early going. And he grounds one to the right side. On to first, you know. and that quickly two away. That one, that one. No left and stepping in, the rookie left fielder, Wyatt Langford. And that's through there for a strike. Oh, and you can throw that big curve on the inside part of the plate. Very difficult pitch for the hitter to get on plane with. You can have a lot of success if you can pitch one in that one. location. Not even close there. And now it's even one and one. Here's a high chopper. Gellaw. Rangers go down in order. Nothing doing for the Rangers. Score remains tied 1-1. One, one. Back in Arlington, top half of the third inning. Here's the rookie third baseman, number 12. Here comes a pitch. Up the middle, dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Digging in, Jacob Wilson. 
in the air out towards left center. Grossman snags it on the run. So the Oakland lineup turns over, and next is the designated hitter, Lawrence Butler. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Just missed. missed. That All one right. at the knees for a strike. Just outside. off the Get outside the edge. Two and one. Man at first, one away. In the air, left field, down the line. Lankford in and to his right. Pulls it in for the out. Two away down. Now back at the right field. Rooker. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. There's yeah. a strike. Ivaldi checks the runner, and he's back in easily. Just missed. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Ground ball, left side, Duran. Rolls across the diamond, third out. One left for Oakland, still tied, 1-1. Ready to go for the last go. half of the inning. And now the switch hitting the catcher, catcher, Jonah Heim. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. The 1-1. One, one. And a swing and a miss. You have a catcher that can throw like that. A pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity. Dives and he can't hang on. That leaves him without a throw. And he's out at first. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base pass. One, one. And that one almost hit him. In the air, right field, sizing this one up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now that one. The second base. Mark it. Simeon. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Now it's Marcus Simeon. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Up the middle. Dive and he's got it. Flips it from the ground. That's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Acrobatic play to get this one started. Determined to get a good flip. And that flip leads to an inning ending double play.
out of the fourth. This is J.J. Bladé. The center field, number 33. Bladé measures six Bledet. feet two inches, 205 pounds, a former first-round pick back in 2019. And he takes a strike. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. And a foul ball left side. Righty delivers. Huh? Struck him out. He says, I don't care about draft rounds. Take a seat. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. It wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And he deals. Pitch misses. Oh. And one and one. Wouldn't chase that time. And the right hander deals. Line to left. Makes the grab on the run. Two away. Seth Brown getting ready to hit. He's already homered in this game. And downstairs. Pitch misses inside. Now 2 0. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. And there's the strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Next offering is in the dirt. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, and make sure that they don't get any confidence. And it's ball this four. He missed four. down low. Make. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. And a foul ball. Two outs. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that is that. The A's strand one. Score remains deadlocked at one. And we're back. Seager stands in now. Not shortstop. Corey. Seager. Pitch. Off the no, mark that's there, low. and it's one to know. Well, these Rangers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? Boots it. But the throw to first that's gets him easily, and that's the first out. Now that center fielder, Robbie Grossman. Now it's Robbie Grossman. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that that's one ball, that's down. cutting but missing down low. Just that missed. missed. That's the ball. Well, he looks more focused at the blade and no working strike. the count after that first at bat strikeout. 
Right hander kicks deals. There's a strike, and it's two and one now. Generally, one second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Just off the inside corner, and it's a full count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Not every base hit is a liner into the gap, just like not every yeah, strikeout's a perfect slider down and away. I mean, right there, he just put the ball in play on the ground and gave it his all to get down to first for the knock. Man at first with one gone. And now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. He's all for one. Pickoff throw, and he's back in safely. Fought off foul. And the 0 1. Swings through that. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's no willing to You're go right. after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. And he'll two. Double play ball to second. Oh, he gloves it. Off balance speed. There's one. And their second double play of the day will end the fourth. One hit in the inning, but no one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. All tied 1-1. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Zach Gellar. The right-hander back to work. Fouled off. He was late. You know, these athletics just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn outside, that around ball. and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. The 1 1. Swing it a foul straight back. And that's no down it away. The 2-2. Two -two. And there's a the ball. Down is full. Outside, and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to go some really close pitches and somehow, Boogie, found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Number 12 in the box now. Take strike one. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. The pitch. One ball, one strike. Pitch out, but no action. Kicks and deals. That's a strike. One and two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
And one out now. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when you're two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Jacob Wilson. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. And the righty deals. The oh. shortstop takes the ball. One on one. Tries to hold up, the peel to first, and he went around. That's ruled the swing. And a pitch. And that nope. one Ball. cutting but missing down low. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Low makes the catch. That's out number two. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Back to the top of the lineup. Lawrence Butler now at the plate. Ball That's one and a pitch inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. Two outs. And a foul ball. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Not two close with that one. Two balls, two strikes. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're at the top of the fifth. That one almost got him. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Side, and that is ball four. Now that right fielder. So first and second with two outs. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. One for two. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Two on, two outs. That two one up. misses. That's five straight. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute to finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Hard liner. And that's the third out. A strand a couple. Halfway home. All even. One apiece. Back at Globe Life Field. Now it's the DH. Josh Young. Young. With the right hander back to work. Edge of the zone, call the strike. Going around. Well, these Rangers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. The first base Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Nathaniel low up to hit. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And that skips into dirt.
And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much oh. all game. And another ball. Swing and a miss as he was out front. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Out towards left center. Lede trying to get to it. Pulls it in on the run. One away. Nothing instills more confidence in a team than a center fielder who makes a oh, great play like that game. on the run. No they can feed field. off the energy he brings oh, just from his playmaking oh, abilities. Sir. Next up for Texas, Wyatt Lankford. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Game go ahead run stands at first. Last half of inning number uh -huh. five. And yeah, that's a little bit high. And it's 2 0. Oh. At the belt and fires. Misses with the 2 0. -oh, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And a four pitch walk. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked okay, the hitter. Yeah, yeah. And you want to challenge the guy with the fastball. Yeah. Jonah Heim oh. stepping in for the Rangers. Reached on an infield single his first time. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And that one fouled off. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning ending double play, boo. That one finds the corner, and that is strike two. And that just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Two on, one out. Bows it off, still one and two. The pitch. That one is absolutely belted. And it one hops the wall. One runs in. The second run scores. And they take a two-run lead. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. One out, runner at second. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. There's a strike. And a pitch. There's a swing and a miss. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks him. No big deal. Still only one out here in the inning. And that's oh. just foul. Oh. In the dirt. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. Man at second. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. No foul. Number two. Second baseman. Marcus. Simeon. So the batting order turns over. Marcus Simeon will hit next. And they hold him at third. 90 feet away with two out. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what 
which you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now it's Corey Seager. He's already homered here in this one. And there's a foul ball. Runners on first and third, two away. On the ground, right side, slides, but he can't come up with it. In to score is the runner from third, it's 4-1. so far this year as you can see the inflated ERA looking to bring that down a little bit right here so two on with two away now it's the switch hitting outfielder Robbie Grossman now it's belted deep to left way out of here Good. His fourth home run of the season. And they boost their lead. It's 7-1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boo. Aggressive and it paid off. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Adolis Garcia digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. That one finds the zone. No balls, two strikes. Activity in the bullpen. Joey Estes getting ready to go. Boyle getting loose as well. That one misses, and it's one and two. One and two. Boils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. It's softly on the ground, left side. Zips it across, and Garcia is out. And they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. But it'll come at a cost as six cross the plate, three of them on this three-run homer. It's now 7-1. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back in Arlington, top of the sixth inning. Digging in for Oakland, J.J. Blade. J.J. Blade. The wind of the pitch. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Garcia pulls that one down, and there's one down. Up next to Oakland. Shea Langoliers up next for the A's. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that one's a little bit low. And that's ball one. I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Swings, fouls it off, and he breaks his back. Right and now two. the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Right Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Just no, missed. missed. That's a ball. Really good two-strike pitch right there. Surprised he was able to spit on that thing. 
swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've no, got him up makes, against the ropes, the got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And yeah. it's even up. One and one. The wind of the pitch. That one not two. close. The count now two and two. The A's with a lot of ground to make up. And we're the top half of the sixth. Run. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing there for the A's. They're down seven to one. Bottom of the sixth. Now here's the Rangers DH, Josh Young. As the lefty gets to work, that yeah. one finds the zone. That's strike one. Out to short, Wilson. Tosses across the first. One up, one down. Now bad. First baseman. And now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. That's yeah. in for a strike. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss as he was late. I think he was no sitting ball. off speed there. Here's the 0-2. Bounce to third. And that chance handled. Gets it to first. Two up, two down. Now got it. Left field. Why yes. Langford. Two outs, base is empty. So next to hit for Texas, Wyatt Langford. That's in there. It's 0 and 1. High fly ball, right field. Rooker makes the catch inning over. Offense held a check there. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Rangers seven and the A's one. We go to the top of the seven. Now the left fielder, number 28. Jazz. Cameron. Ivaldi back to work. That's in there. One one. Swing and a pop up. Foul and a play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Kicks and fires. On the ground, right side. Simeon fires over to first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The second base. Zach Geloff. Zach Geloff. Up next for the A's. This isn't a pitcher that softens up when he starts to show signs of fatigue. I mean, his stuff stays sharp. Makes these at-bats more difficult than they normally would be against other pitchers at this stage of the game. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off. And now one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Gets a piece and stays alive. The Rangers up big in this one. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Rip 
to the right center. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay throw. Not in time. He's safe. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now the third baseman. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. In comes the run from third to trim the lead. It's seven to two. Well done. Drives in the run. Now back really back. good swing right there. He got a pitch that he yeah. knew he could handle. Really allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Man at first, Jacob Wilson. Up next for the A's. And that's, that's off that's inside. the inside edge. And that's ball one. Hey, and a pitch. Right Peace. through there for a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Andrew Heaney, the left-hander, up and throwing. Robertson getting cranked up as well. The shortstop ball. takes a ball. Back and there's a curve two. through for a strike. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Grounder might be two. Seeger, one at second. Yep. And it's a double play to end the inning. And the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 7-2 ball game. Back after this on the show. And we're back. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. That's inside. One, one. Action in the pen down there. JT Ginn, the rookie right-hander, is getting loose. Rodriguez, the lefty, warming up as well. And that one fouled off. And a ball and two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Up next for the Rangers, Up next for the Rangers the Ezekiel Duran. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. 0-2. And, and now the lefty. That's to third. And it goes it's just foul. foul. Missed one with a changeup. And a count one and two. Up the middle. Oh, great stop. Throws from his knees. And he gets him. Nicely done. Well, you can see right there. He looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop. Gets up to complete the play. Got to fire the team up for sure. So the lineup flips over. Here is Marcus Simeon. Close one ball. doesn't get the call. Ball one. One out.
two outs. And a foul ball. Next ball. one's off the plate. Now two balls and a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. This to third. And that one handled. Whips it across. And Simeon is out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing across here this half. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Rangers seven and the A's two. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Andrew Heaney. Bringing in the lefty with a left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. So now here's the DH, Lawrence Butler. The lefty fires. Late with the swing there. 0-1. Foul ball. Swings and misses. Struck him out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. One for three. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. No ball. Bullpen strike. action for the Rangers. Grant Anderson, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. The Rangers leading by five, and we're in the top of the eighth. Swing ah. and a miss. 0-2 oh, now. Now there's a certain point where oh, you have two. to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty. Ball. Inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Wouldn't two, chase two. that time. Down the left field line, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, now ripped it down that. the line. The nice job of staying in his mechanics. GTA. And now here is J.J. Bladet. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. And it's fouled away. On, and a pitch. Ball. Really nice One slider right there. Sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. The one-two. And That's another ball. Two-two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, tough night at the dish. Now, Touching right, out right. for the third That's time it. right there. He just yeah, yeah, hasn't yeah. looked very Mind comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now, not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Langoliers That's the ball. stands in now, looks at that one inside. Next offering is fouled back. And yeah, that's oh. downstairs and outside. Two balls, one strike. That nope. one close, oh. ruled a ball. And the count is three and one.
Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. One left for Oakland. They're down five. It's seven to two. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the shortstop, Corey Seager. Corey Seager. And here it comes. That's ball for a strike. 0 oh 1. Next one pitch, one. not close, up high. High in the air, out to right. Rooker makes the play, and there's one away. The center, the center fielder, fielder, number four. four. So digging in, Robbie Grossman. Grossman. Ball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Had a good that eye missed. there. The Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. One down, base is empty. Right, right through there for a strike. There, two gone. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher right on the field same field. page right now. Adole. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Just no, missed. Right, two down, nobody on. Here, are the bottom half of the eighth inning. Just oh, missed. Right. Two oh. That one catches the corner for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. Two oh changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Kicks and deals. And ball. another ball. Josh Young in the on-deck circle for Texas. The pitch. Gets the outside corner with that one. Full count. Two down, nobody on. High fly ball out towards left field. That's back there, and it's off the foul pole for a home run. He sends it out of here. His 22nd homer of the year, and they add a run. It's 8-2. Those are the at-bats that leave pitchers exhausted. He had to throw a lot of pitches and still gave up the long ball. That's a bad combo. Was hooking down the line the entire way. He knew it was going to be close and bang, right off the left field pole. That was a pretty sweet. On to pitch now for Oakland, JT Ginn. I think it's got to be a little tough now, coming in out of the pin game. when your guys are trailing number so number big two. on the scoreboard. JT. Just doesn't have the same yeah. intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And here is Josh Young. And he swings and misses at the initial oh, offering. Yeah. Swings through that one for strike two. No ball. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Got him swinging. 
Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. Last chance coming up for Oakland. All set to start the ninth in this one. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Seth Brown. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Ball one, one there. Two. And that's, oh, that's off in. the inside edge. Now two and two. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Count is full. Why to kick the pitch? Cut and miss. Struck him out. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. This guy will throw any pitch at any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. He's two outs away. Here's the left fielder. That one finds the zone. Strike one. one. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. I went through. The Rangers up big in this one here at the top of the ninth. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. Now that second Now it's the second baseman, Zach Gillock. Gillock. Just missed. The wind of the pitch. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers take this one in a blowout. After a couple of times to the order, this team really figured out with the bats a huge fifth inning. And that was all they really needed to get this victory today. A really nice job to pick up the W today. 8 2 the final here for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.